Hi, Scott Lander here with Keller Williams Realty. Today we're going to be discussing the difference in the cost of renting versus buying. Before we do, I want to draw your attention to the two links below. Number one, if you're interested in finding out what your home is worth, please click the link that says get your free home value. And if you would like to see all the homes in Mojave County and you're searching to buy, click the other link. So today we're going to be discussing some differences in renting versus buying and what those costs might look like. Uh, maybe you're renting a home right now and you just didn't know what your costs might be to purchase a home. So hopefully I'll shed some light on that uh, to help give you some information there. And number two, maybe you just didn't think you could buy because maybe you had bad credit or something happened um, you know, with your past history in, in a purchase of some sort. So I'm going to be discussing a couple ways around that today as well. Um, before I do, um, I just wanted to bring to your attention, um, number one, a $100,000 loan on our market, uh, roughly at 4% interest, which you know the interest rates are hovering above and below on, um, would put your, your payments at a 30-year loan right around $600 a month. And number two, if you bought a home for about $150,000, uh, it would put your payments at about $900 a month. That's with taxes, insurance, maybe some uh, private mortgage insurance costs in there. And those are just some rough estimates. Um, so a lot of times rent in our area in the county is going anywhere from maybe 600 to 1100 dollars a month so today um, i'll be covering uh, a few different things that are, are myths as to why people think that they probably can't afford or um, didn't know something about our market so uh, number one uh, a lot of people that i'm looking at and talking to they actually just don't know that that costs uh, of homes were actually still affordable in that range below uh, 100 or 150 thousand or even 200 thousand um, so we do have of, uh, plenty of homes available, which I'll cover. Uh, number two, a lot of people maybe had a bad credit problem or thought that, oh, there's no way I'll qualify because I had a couple of issues in the past. So I need to look into that, or I don't want to look into that. But, um, I can tell you that I have several lenders right now that are offering amazing programs. Um, and the government has changed some of their guidelines to allow you to purchase a home maybe if you had a foreclosure or short sale or um, an issue in the past so um, if you contact me I could certainly put you in touch with a couple of uh, those lenders to find that information out so you're not left doubting um, you know and and last the number the three number three thing that I hear a lot is I didn't know that there were homes still in that price range in general um, you know at a hundred or hundred fifty thousand dollars but Currently in Mojave County, there's a hundred homes for sale, 131 homes for sale under a hundred thousand. And there are about 334 homes available on our market under $150,000. So there's quite a few and uh, we can provide you links on our website to go view all those homes in case you're interested. So I wanna just encourage you to stop throwing your money away. Um, be a homeowner, interest rates are still at a record low. There's some amazing deals out there and perhaps if you're fearful about uh, maybe just the unknown of something it's worth checking out. So thanks for watching my video blog today And if you're thinking about buying or selling or know anybody else who is I would love to help them and we really appreciate your referrals mm -hmm.